What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm going to be trying something new this month. I'm going to be doing love readings for all the signs for November 2018. And I'm going to be offering the extended version, um, not on Vimeo yet, which I will be doing soon when I have better equipment, but I'm going to be recording the first half and then I will, um, leave it open for you to purchase the extended version, um, for $25. So if that's something that interests you, then you will just make your payments via PayPal, say what, which extended that you're interested in and I will send you the link. So here goes, we are on the sign of Aries and we're going to be seeing what the, the love story is for Aries. What are three things that they think about you, three things that they feel about you, and three cards of advice, and then we'll hop over to the extended. So starting off, we have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like they want to have a conversation um, about you know, kind of making things work. You make them really happy. You make them really comfortable. They see you as there being abundance. This is a wish come true for them. They see you as this motherly type, this person who takes really good care of their children, um, that would be really down and loyal, you know, down to earth, someone who, you know, speaks the truth, um, not afraid to do shit on her own. You know, I basically feel like, you know, you don't really hold, you don't really hold back. Um, Three things that they feel about you, Aries, is that one, you have the Empress, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Someone kind of feels like this is over. They feel like maybe they, um, for whatever reason, they've noticed you, you know, in the conversations or what have you, kind of things have ended. You know, um, I feel like the bottom is the Seven of Swords. They see you running. You know, for whatever reason, you know, they're hopeful for the future. They want to have a new beginning with you, but they see this as done. They see you as kind of doing your own thing. Um, for what um, three cards of advice, you have the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Hanged Man. This person's still holding on to the thought of you and them being together, for one, because they've had clarity recently where you are their soulmate. You are the person that they want to be with. You guys together could be something really great. This Ace of Wands is having this new beginning, and then this looking back at the Hanged Man. This, some, this person's still holding on to the idea of you guys coming together of you guys not giving up, of you guys going the long haul with this. And, you know, no matter what happens, you know, someone chooses you, someone wants to be with you, someone wants to spend some time away from people, um, having a conversation, you know, someone wants to apologize to you. Someone just, I keep saying, don't give up. Someone just really doesn't want you to give up on them. And they're not good at talking about their feelings, you know, but they really don't want this to be over with you. And they're not really able to tell you that. I think that, you know, in the past, they were really unsure about the, you know, the true meaning of everything in this situation. But now they've had the mental clarity. They know you're the one for them. They want to make this work with you. They feel like you made the wrong choice. They feel like maybe you're the one for them. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then we have three more. Um, someone wants to work on this. Someone feels like you're the one that's worth waiting for for them. We have three more cards for um, the romance angels. And we're going to do um, three more cards for what this person wants to say to you. Um, what do they, what do they truly want from you and a message from them to you will all be in the extended version. So if this is something that also someone might be kind of paying attention to your social media, someone feels like they want to have children with you, someone's still holding on to the idea of you. Someone just wants you to say it out loud. So there's your card for what they want to say, what do they truly want from you, and the message from you to them. 
All right. Um, catch me on the um, extended, people. I'm excited. Let me know if you're interested. If not, I hope you guys have a great November. Bye.